How do we overcome two of the biggest obstacles when manifesting our heart's desire, doubt and fear? We're going to talk about that today. This is Tom Karen with the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Welcome back, creators. I want to talk about the Neville Goddard way, manifesting the Neville Goddard way, how to overcome doubt and fear. Here's the thing. If you've already set your intention, you've already made your wish, you've already claims and assumed wishes fulfilled. Now it's, 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 it's the law. It's going to come to you. What happens though, generally, when we do this? Here we are. We're happy. You can see this. There are our dreams. There are our desires. We set them. They're in motion. We started assuming wishes fulfilled. We started thinking from the end, feeling that our desire, feeling what it's like to have our heart's desire, getting in that energy of abundance, if, if you want money in abundance, getting that energy of health, if you want health, getting in that love, that loving energy, if you want love. But then what happens? Well, we, we start wondering how is it going to happen? We start trying to figure it out. We start trying to make it happen. We start trying to, how is it going to come to me? There's no way I'm going to meet somebody or the, how, there's no way I'm going to have all that money or I, I, or, or I can't get healthy. This is what happens. This is when doubt and fear get in and this is what throws you off your manifesting path. So instead of doing that, guys, forget about that and go directly to the end. Go directly to what it feels like. Go directly. Skip fear. Skip the doubt. Don't think about how the doubt and the fear go directly to the end. Have that faith. It, remember, faith is convictions for, of things not seen. This is go directly to the end. Have that faith that it's done, that you've done it. Otherwise, if you're going to start worrying about the how it's going to come to you, this is the road that you go on, the disappointed fear. You end up here. So instead of ending up here, skip this guy altogether. Skip the... Take this out. Skip the uh, wondering how it's going to come to you. Don't even think about it. Know that it's coming. That's all you need to know. The, the God has ways that you not know of. It's his mysterious ways. The Bible talks about this. All the ancients talk about this. Skip and go to the end here. Don't go. Don't. Because if you don't, you're going to end up here. Disappointed, frustrated, depressed. You're, that, that it's not coming to you. So what happens? Why do we start um, wondering how and where does the doubt seep in? We, start, we, we try to look for signs that our manifestations on the way. If you're looking for signs that your manifestations on the way, that means the energy that you're telling the universe and telling God is that you don't have it. And so you get more of not having it. That's not the energy of having it. Looking, remember, the signs follow. They don't proceed. The signs follow, meaning the manifestation follows. So... That, so whenever you're looking for signs, oh, I need a sign that it's happening, that is a feeling that, that's a lackful feeling. That's the feeling that you don't have it yet. So instead of doing that, bypass over that. Move to your desire already fulfilled. Move to the end. How, what does it feel like? Who would you be talking to? What would you be doing? Yeah? What, what kind of feelings would you be, what kind of conversations would you be having? Who would you call? right? What would you be, where would you go? This is what you want to do. Skip this stressing over how it's going to come to you or what you need to do to get it done. This is another big thing. Say you want to start a business or you want a successful business, an entrepreneurial business. If you start thinking about how, you're going to go crazy. You're going to quickly go boop down into fear, doubt, and frustration, right? Instead, go to the end. You're already successful. What's it feel like? Who are you cussing? Who are you talking to? Where are you going on vacation? How are you feeling about it, right? Skip the doubt and fear, guys. That all comes from getting stuck on how. It all comes from looking for signs that it hasn't come yet. You've got to have the faith. Maintain that faith. We've talked about this in other lessons, that it's on its way. That is how you overcome doubt and fear. Remember, doubt is impossible if you have faith, right? You can't have both. So stay in faith and then doubt doesn't become an issue. Stand in that faith. Know that you are part of God, that you are that same energy, that you have that same power. We talked about this in our last video. Stand in that faith and then doubt cannot move its way in. Stand in that faith and fear cannot move its way in. 
That's how you do it, guys. That you go to the end, wish already fulfilled. That's you at the end. Skip this stressful stage, right? We'll talk more about this stuff, guys. This is Tom Kieran with another lesson on manifesting the Neville Goddard way with Be Something Wonderful. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, and share and like our videos. That's how we get our message out. Guys, until next time, with great love, this is Tom Karen. See you soon.